Did you know that 80% of all employers are now using video interviewing as part of their hiring process? Well, did you also know that 85% of candidates do terrible during their video interview? My name is Jill Jordan Green and I am the CEO and President of the People Resource Group, an HR consulting leadership and development firm. Today, I will unlock the secrets that will help you get ready to nail your next video interview. Let's get started. The first step in getting ready is preparation. You have to prepare. So what do you need? The first thing you need is a great laptop, a cell phone, or an iPad. A smart device is going to help you get ready for your video interview. Most cell phones have a video camera. Most iPads are also equipped with that. If your laptop does not have a web camera, you can purchase an external one for $30 from Best Buy, Amazon.com, or another online retailer. But that is important. So step one, get the tool you need. Step two is you need proper lighting. This can be achieved in several ways. You can use a lamp that might be in your living room. Place the lamp in front of your laptop so that the light shines directly on you. This will give you the image that you're looking for. Maybe you have a floor lamp in your living room or in your bedroom. Bring the floor lamp and place it in front of your laptop or your device so it shines properly on you. If you don't have a, a, a lamp like that, move into your kitchen. Most kitchens have bright lights that will highlight you and give you the picture that you need. The only way you know if your lighting is working by testing out your tools. Part of preparation and making sure you nail the preparation phase is to practice, practice, practice. Power up that laptop, power up that cell phone, turn on those lights and take the link that the hire manager sent you and test it out. The other thing I want you to consider during the preparation phase is making sure your devices are charged up. Have you ever been somewhere and your phone began to die? It happens all the time, but during your interview is not the time you want this to happen. So while we're preparing, you have your webcam, whether it's via your cell phone, laptop, or iPad. You have your proper lighting, whether it's an external light via a lamp or one you use overhead from, one of your, from the kitchen or, or a well-lit bedroom. And then you have the link that you're testing to make sure it's operating properly and you want to make sure that all your devices are charged. This will help you nail the preparation phase. We mentioned lighting as something that's very important during the preparation phase, but your background is also as equally important. I interviewed a candidate one day who is taking the interview from their bedroom, which is fine if that's where you have proper lighting. The challenge was behind this person was a ton of unfolded laundry. I don't know if she was going to do laundry, fold it or wash it. I'm not sure, but it was a distraction. In addition to that, there were some pretty sexy type of pictures or posters on the wall behind her. Now listen, this is not a judgment of what people do when they're not at work, but it is a distraction during the interview. You want the hiring manager to be focusing on your answers and your candidacy for the job, not the sexy photos or the sexy calendar behind you. Your background is very important to nailing the preparation phase. We talked about your background. We talked about your lighting. Something else you, you should consider is being in a quiet location. This is so important. We understand as hiring managers that you have pets and family and children, but this is why it's important to prepare for this very important meeting we call a video interview. So make sure that your pets are placed somewhere where they're not disrupting your interview. Make sure your children understand that you have a meeting going on so they're not calling your name or in the background giving you bunny ears. I've interviewed tons of people and I hear pets barking. I hear the kids that are screaming their mom's name. Not that it's a bad thing because we know it happens, but it is a distraction. Now I can't focus on this candidate and even hear if they're great for the job because this person is now distracted. Having a quiet location is critical to your success during your video interview. If all else fails and you don't have a quiet location at home, 
Inform the hiring manager that you may be taking the, vid the video interview from your car. You might be mobile and sometimes they're okay with that, but please notify them in advance. Or check your local library. Sometimes they have rooms that you're able to just steal a few minutes of time from and have a private, quiet location for your interview. These are all factors that help you prepare for your next video interview. The next phase I'd like you to consider is what we call your presence. This is so important. Now your presence is very important in a regular face-to-face -face interview, but it's even more important in a video interview. Eye contact is the first thing you want to focus on. So your question might be, well, where do I look? Identify where the camera is on your smart device, your laptop, iPad, or cell phone, and look directly into the camera. Don't look at the picture of the person because that draws your eye contact away from the actual target. That's important. The next thing is your smile. A natural smile is so important in a video interview and it goes such a long way. Posture is also extremely important in your video interview. Make sure you're not leaning back, but sitting forward. Make sure you're sitting up and erect, shoulders high and smiling. This is a great indication of confidence and professionalism during your video interview. Number three, attire. Now listen, this is so important in a video interview especially because they don't have the luxury of seeing you walk in the room. They don't have the luxury of having additional chit chat before you get to the room. All they have is what's in front of them. So how you look is important. The same guidelines apply that we talked about in the regular interview series. You want to wear dark, conservative colors. And ladies, this tip is for you. For video interviews, you may want to go a little heavier on the makeup so you don't get washed out on camera. We talked about being prepared, we talked about your presence, and we talked about your attire. Now, let me show you what not to do. This is what not to do. A candidate who shows up like this for a video interview appears to be way too casual and not professional. And unfortunately, sometimes people make the mistake of believing because it's a video interview and they're at home, they can be a bit more relaxed. So as you see, I have on a hat, which is inappropriate for, an, for, for any interview. I have on sunglasses because I just came in from outside and I'm rushing to get ready for my video interview. Not appropriate. And my attire is too relaxed and very, very unprofessional. Now this is cute for the beach or for the basketball game, but this does not have a place in a video interview. And then I have my coffee and I'm sipping my coffee and although this is my favorite coffee mug and I think it's just cute, it's not appropriate for a video interview. If you get parched, you can have a glass of water or a bottle of water nearby, but you don't want to have coffee because now it suggests this is a casual you know, cocktail or a casual acquaintance, and it's not. It's a video job interview. And last but not least, look what's behind me. We talked about the background. Your background should be clear and void of anything. Now this happens to be a poster that my daughter put together, but guess what? I might think it's cute, but it's not appropriate for a video interview. So what you want to do is make sure your background is clear of all distractions. You don't have things in front of you that would indicate you're too casual. You want to make sure you're dressed professionally in a conservative, attire appropriate outfit for your interview and get rid of all the stuff that says you're going somewhere other than having a video interview. These are all great factors that will help you nail your next video interview. Thank you for joining us for today's session. Do me a favor. I'd like for you to reflect on what impacted you most about this session today. Leave me a note in the comment section below. I'd also ask for you to reach out to a mentor or a trusted advisor and ask them to grade you on the sections that we covered today. One through five. Five being you're doing a great job or one meaning you have a little bit of work to do and that's okay. Take that feedback forward and grow. If you'd like some additional support, reach out to me. I'm giving two lucky people an opportunity to have mock video interviews with me. I'll give great feedback and help you get ready for your next video interview, but you have to register below. And last but not least, 
Please like, share, and subscribe.